Hello, fellow comic book collectors. Hope you guys are doing well. Uh, tonight is uh, Beer and Comics uh, with my lovely wife here. Woohoo! Oh, holding up the uh, other beer. Uh, tonight's beer is... This is who it's made by. Yeah, you want to pronounce that? Catawba, Catawba Brewing Company. And then the actual beer is Firewater India Pale Ale, and it's brewed in Morganton, North Carolina. Uh, we have a... Uh, like a casual pint is what it's called. It's like a craft beer store where you can go fill up a growler. A growler is what it's called. Um, it's about what? What would you say? About seven or eight beers. No, I don't know if it's that many. Maybe five or six. That's got to be more than that, right? I don't know. It's I don't at know. least a six pack. It it costs. Yeah, it's about six pack. Depending on how much you fill your glass up, I suppose. That's true. <laughs> I guess how much how full you want your beer. <laughs> um... But anyways, it it's twelve dollars to fill it up. Well, each beer is a different, a slightly different price, just like it would be on the grocery store. Give or take a dollar or so. So yeah, it's about twelve, thirteen. I think the most I would be like maybe fifteen dollars if you got a really like intense beer. But I don't think we've ever spent that much. Usually it's like twelve or thirteen. Yeah, I think it's twelve dollars to fill it up. Um, and then so it's pretty cool. It's right down the street. We go there. We haven't been there in a while, have we? No, no. Um, so we went tonight just to get something different. Well, it's nice because you can take the beer to go, but you get the draft beer taste at home without having to go out and do anything. That's true. I so never that's thought about it like that. <laughs> Look at you. See? Bringing something new to the table. That's I right. like it. Keeping this show, uh, fresh. Let's bring ladies to the show. That's it makes right. it classier. <laughs> so, just a little family history. Today was, um, our first... Child's firstborn, firstborn, uh, first day of kindergarten. Um, so me and the wife dropped her off at eight ish. No, it was earlier than that, seven thirty ish. Yeah, seven thirty, something like that. And then, um, me and the wife and the youngest went, uh, little comic book we shopping. Went comic book shopping. <laughs> I brought the wife with me. I'm, I'm slowly converting her. I don't know if that's really how it is, but me and the little one have to wander around until he's finished is really what it is. I wouldn't mind so much if I didn't have a three-year-old in tow. But, yeah, it, um, she just found out that they restarted Archie, so I um, guess I'm going to have to put that on my pull list. Yes, indeed. Um, she was a huge, huge Archie. I have them all still. She still has them all, and they're, uh, where are they? Are they? Well, I'm in the garage. They're in the garage. <laughs> in a in a tub. In a huge tub. In a big tub. And um, they're probably not worth anything. But <laughs> I, I haven't gone through them because I'm not an Archie collector whatsoever. So. They were red and they were loved, so they are not. Yeah, probably they're pristine. probably not in good shape. But um, now that they've restarted Archie, so um, I guess I'll have to put that on my pull list. She just found Don't that out. Don't judge him; it's my fault. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So if you see Archie from here on out, that's that's not me. Um, I, I made the mistake of mentioning, hey, they started Archie over. And she's like, what? It's very exciting. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's got to have their thing. Don't judge. <laughs> That's true. So, um, like I said, we went to two, two bookstores today. Mm -hmm. Used bookstore. Two used bookstores. Um, it's been about, I think it was roughly around $30 a day on comic books. Mama got some books. I didn't get anything. The kids got stuff. Let's just... <laughs> well, Mama helped the kids pick out some stuff. Um, so, my first book here is the Amazing Spider-Man uh, GameStop variant, signed by Dan Slott. I got this from a trade from a fellow YouTuber, um, uh, Jared Phillips, uh, J-Pun, J-Punish7, I believe is his... Uh, you need to get your stuff together. <laughs> and though, they know me by now I'm not the very <laughs> put together I'm just like oh shit I forget things so um just wanted to say thank you to uh, Jared and I'm spilling my beer party foul I already got a party foul going it's okay uh, keep going here babe Anyways, uh, so we'll keep going because the is wife he, is what is he doing is he coming out of a grave what's going on in this picture yeah this is a um my wife wants to know. I'm sorry, you're going to. Yeah, she's a little new. Yeah, this is a uh, cover swipe to uh, Web Spider-Man 33, and you, as you can see down here, it says the artist is Greg Horn, and it says after Zek, which means that Mike Zek originally did this cover. 
uh, on the web of Spider-Man, and the web of Spider-Man is black and white, but uh, Greg Horn decided to do it in color, so. That's cool. Um, I haven't found the web of Spider-Man 33 yet. I'm pretty sure that's the issue that is cover swiped to this one, but I, I'm super happy to have this in my collection. Um, so, yeah, let's move on to my eBay purchase, which I regret buying now. Why? Why do I regret buying it? Because because <laughs> this is not in the condition that I I'm pretty much a condition you snob. Have that one. I already have this <laughs> one. Yes, but it's it's everybody knows I'm a huge Michael Turner fan, and the price on this was ten dollars, and I was like hell yeah. So I even asked the guys like because he really didn't have a picture up. So I was like, what condition it is it in? He's like, I would say it, it's it's in uh, it's in very good condition. Which to me means it's either going to be very fine or very fine plus or near mint minus. But as you can tell, there's there's some dings down here. There's a really bad one up there's at the top. There's a really bad one up at the top. So You can put that one in the back. I can. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm a little, con a little condition snob, so I try to get as best condition as I can. But I paid $10 for it, so it's, I probably paid fair market value for it, but so it's not that bad. Uh, the next one is, I found this in my local comic book shop, Walking Dead 44. Spoiler alert, if you don't know, you fast forward 10 seconds, this is the death of Ezekiel. So, if it comes in the show, then this comic book's going to go up. So. Did you get that for Zachary? No, I did not get that for my nephew. Oh, sorry. Side note. <laughs> yeah, he reads the trade back, trade paperbacks. Um... I don't read any of them. I just collect them for, you know, spe something special happens. So I just got this one because... Just because. Just because. Okay. What's this? Next ones are... The rest are used bookstores. So this is Blue Beetle number one. I believe this is the new Blue Beetle they're going to be using in... Never heard of Blue Beetle. <laughs> yeah. I'm not really a Blue Beetle connoisseur either. He looks like a Power Ranger. Does look like a Power Ranger. That's <laughs> awesome. <laughs> they should totally put Blue Beetle in a Power Ranger. That would be all. Awesome. He might looks like that. a Power Ranger that's a little cooler. <laughs> Does that make sense? A little cooler than a Power Ranger. Well, he's got Ranger. like the the mask. Is, you know, it's a little it's I'm, a little less dorky. <laughs> I think he's going to be in a TV show. I don't know if he's going to be an Arrow or Flash. Oh. So I think this is the character they're going to use. They're going to mock the character over. So if he shows up. Or if I'm wrong, please let me know. So, um, I have multiple copies of this one, but I keep finding it, so I'm just going to keep buying it. You just like that cover. <laughs> I do. This is uh, Psylocke. In her awkward G-string outfit. You pipe down over there. You can't fight a battle in that outfit. <laughs> <laughs> I don't... I don't yeah, her head and her one shoulder are very protected. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. But there. she's got a, a, a psychic sword. Oh, is that hers? I yeah, thought the guy behind no, her was holding that. And this is uh, one of my favorite... Uh, this is my namesake behind her, if you can't see, Archangel. So they have a little romance in this series here. This is Psylocke. The first appearance of her is Death. And she's going to be one of the four horsemen in the Apocalypse movie next next summer. So I don't think she's going to be Death, but for a dollar, I'm still picking it up. You just love it. I do love it. That's a good uh, story. I just picked this up because of the, the, the Daredevil Season 2 has Punisher in it, so we'll hmm. probably fight at some point, so what the hell. Let's pick it up. Interesting. And the same reason for this one. Uh, Punisher and the Kingpin. Ooh, old school. Yeah, it's uh, early 90s right there. Well, this just shows you how well they cast the guy that plays him in the show the kingpin guy looks pretty much like the picture on that comic book. yeah they did a really good job i mean even writing the script and everything is really good the next i just picked up because i'm selling it this whole set sells for like 20 dollars on ebay so i picked up um all six issues for a dollar a piece so six dollars so hopefully i'll make 14 dollar profit off this this is the Marvel Presents Wolverine, issue 117, featuring Venom. I guess Wolverine and Venom fight it out, and then the sixth series issue. So, 117, uh, 118, mm. 
one nineteen. Stop me if you want me to. No, it's just interesting. It's like one wins in the first cover, the next one the <laughs> one's winning, and now they're just slashing at each other. <laughs> I think they actually join up to fight somebody. I don't oh. know. I haven't read it yet, but it looks to me like. Whose arm is that? I don't know. Arm? What? Is, is that an arm? Constrictor. I don't, I don't know. know what, it's a part of something. <laughs> There's one twenty. One twenty one. Looks like they're back to fighting. That doesn't shock me. They're both a. Uh, they're both a little temperament. Temporal, temperamental. Temp, temperamental. That's the word. Thank you that I was looking for. <laughs> that I was uh, going for. So yeah, I just bought those to sell. Bought the next one to sell too. Uh, this is X Factor fifteen. You've had that before. I still do have that. Oh. <laughs> this is where uh, Angel loses his wings, and it's also the first appearance of the Four Horsemen, which will be in the next X Men movie. I uh, just bought this for the cover. Ooh, I like that one. See? Bought this for the cover. This is Invincible Iron Man, uh, Wizard World of Philadelphia. What the hell is that? That's a gnat. <laughs> <laughs> we are fighting invisible foes. Like, There's a gnat in here for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> Wish you could have seen that. That was funny. She's like shadow boxing a gnat over here. <laughs> <laughs> it makes it sound a lot cooler than it actually was. <laughs> but, yeah, it's a Wizard World uh, exclusive. I just bought it for the cover. This one I bought for $2. It's probably worth $2, but I thought it was going to be a mint copy when I first bought it. Mm. Uh, it's a oh, this is the one that you got mad at when you got home. <laughs> yeah. Because, again, I'm a sort of a condition snob, and I just saw $2, and I was like, ooh, first appearance of Silk. You oh, I silk. like silk. Yeah, nice. Yes, I like her. Silk is good. She likes the silk. Um, I you bought you got those for me. I did. I have read some of read. them. They're <laughs> very good. I like silk better than uh, better than I think we both like silk better. I didn't Spider like Gwen. Spider Gwen that yeah. much. I think we both like the I character. I didn't think her character better, was yeah. that interesting. Yeah, silk is much better. I wish they would, but they're hyping up uh, Spider Gwen, which yeah, she's is fun. blonde. She's blonde. <laughs> Sorry. My, my wife is not blonde. Um, but anyways, as you see, it's got a it's got a crease up here, and it's got some I don't know what that is. Scrape, but it looks like it looks like a scrape. But anyways, I paid two dollars for it, so it's it's it is what it is. Whatever. Hmm. You like this one before we put it up? I like the background of it. I like the green. Do you know who that is? Thing in the back. Michael what? M. Far? No, I don't know. I can't read it. Anyways, so this Farlane. is... Farlane? Yeah, there you go, McFarlane. Todd McFarlane. Why does it say M instead of T? Mick Farlane. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah, it is. Well, you it, kind of flashed it in oh, my I'm face. Oh, I'm sorry. This is just a, a McFarlane cover of Spider-Man, and I, I just got it because... It's Wendigo. Lion thing? Wendigo. He's like a... What would you call Wendigo? Like a I don't know who Wendigo is. He's like uh, like a Bigfoot Sasquatch. Oh, because it kind of looks like a lion. But I just got it because anyway. McFarlane drawing Wolverine. I haven't seen too many of those, so I got that. I don't really like Wolverine in that picture. No, I don't like the way he draws Wolverine. He's got like his head piece looks a little ridiculous. Crazy, but that's the way they were. And he's a little thick. Yeah, he's not very ripped, is he? No, he's ripped, but he's. Thick, like he's like, I'm. I don't know. Not my favorite. Not your favorite. But, anyways, but he's got the man panties on. <laughs> what are man panties? Show those me the man the, panties. Those little, the little, the little, the little panty things that they used to draw superheroes wearing. You know, like Superman like wears or whatever. Right. I'm not a big fan. I mean, I, and I understand they're what classic, a, but they just. What about the belt buckle? Would you like the belt buckle? It doesn't bother me as much oh, as really? the panties. <laughs> I know they're classic, but, you know, they're just a little... It's just weird to see the huge belt buckle on a Superman. Why is he keeping... It? Maybe that's to keep up his man panties. I mean, he's got to wear a belt to, to uh, keep up his man panties. I think it's a leotard. <laughs> okay. I, I don't know. <laughs> All right, moving on. I uh, just got this for the cover. It's just an awesome dark side cover. Do you know who dark side is? Nope. He's a classic. Is he the guy in the front? Yep, that's him. Dark side. He's a the major supervillain, one of Superman's major supervillains. He's sort of like the Godfather of supervillains. Like he doesn't do his own work himself. He sends out other people. He only uh, he only fights when he has to. Doesn't get dirty. I like villains that get dirty. Oh. 
Well, you... Do your own stuff, friends. Do uh, your own stuff. He only gets involved <laughs> if he needs to, because he's such a badass. Um, uh, he's very, very, very powerful. You're not drinking your beer. I'm sorry. I'm behind on the beer drinking. So, what do you think about this uh, cover I don't like it that much. But you knew that before you asked me. <laughs> I did. Tell them why you don't like it before they see it. It's a little sexy. It's a little sexy. It's not as obnoxious as others I've seen. She's got a little eyebrow cock thing going on. I don't know. It's okay. Anyways, it's not. It's not meant. It's not meant to appeal to females. Let's just let's just not. go there. It's it's a uh, danger girl. It's. I like her. Her. I like that she's got this like not blonde, not brunette, sort of in between honey blonde thing going on. You don't see that as often. She's in the. Bathtub, very risque, and it's obviously J. The bathtub is very cool, though. It's yeah. like a um, that is a, Grecian is very, bathtub. If you're going to have a bathtub, that's a bathtub bath. It's, it's like the bathtub in Harry Potter. It is like the bathtub in Harry Potter. That's a but good sexier. analogy. But with M Moni Myrtle does not look like that. No, not at all. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's not trashy or anything, and I kind of like that. I like that she's got her eyebrow cocked up and a kind of like, hey, what you doing? What are you looking at me like that for? Kind of a thing, but. I mean, I wouldn't be like, oh, well, God, I have to have that cover. She's so sexy. I mean, like, most women aren't going to be like... I bought it because I thought it was the uh, Dynamics Forces variant, but it's not. It's just the regular. I got those confused. They both have green riding, but I think Dynamic Forces is down here, and I didn't realize it. But it's a dollar, and it's J. Scott Campbell, so what you the You like the cover. And I do like it. <laughs> I, I no, I no, I have... You like a little sexy. I, I like a little sexy, yes. Um, okay. I wasn't drawn to appeal to me. What about this one? I like it. I don't understand what's going on in the cover. I don't either. But it's a Deadpool. It's an early Deadpool. Uh, I kind of like that they're 64. wearing, like the guy in the boxer shorts and the funny t-shirt. That's awesome. I like I like the humor in it. Maybe uh, Skylark can uh, fill us in or, you know. Uh, well, obviously Deadpool's the guy that's squatting down there confused or I don't know what the what the emotion's supposed to be going on, like an exasperated, what the hey are these guys doing sort of a thing. But I do like the guys in the background. They kind of look like ridiculous punks or something. I don't Maybe Skylar or uh, John can fill us in oh, on the Oh, I didn't read the line. title, Funeral for a Freak. That's yeah. kind of funny. I like it. I do enjoy Deadpool humor, so. What do you think about this one? I like that one. So this is. It's very 90s. Yeah, it's a 90s book, definitely. <laughs> Infinite Crisis number five. This is the first appearance of Blue Beetle of the new. I like him a lot better than that. Does he still look like a Power Ranger villain? A little, but he looks way cooler. Is the uh, he, it's, I think it's because it's an action shot. Yeah. So this is his first appearance. Oh, it's got Batman. Yeah, Batman, and you know who that is? That's uh, the, 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 the guy from X Men. No. No. The little guy. The, what's his name? I don't that, know. That's Booster Gold. Okay, well, yeah, I would never have gotten it. <laughs> I didn't think so. I was like, if you pick he out... He looks like the guy with the, oh, oh, oh the visor thing. Oh. Cyclops. Thank you. Yeah, no. Gone. Does he now kind of look like him, Sort of. But Cyclops I mean, is way like... more powerful. Booster Gold is like a comedic, sort of. Booster sorta. Gold is the darkiest name I've ever heard. <laughs> Booster? Booster hey, Gold. Booster? Okay. Obviously, he was made in the 50s or something. Yeah, I, guess I don't know. 50s. What okay. do you think about that one? I like that a lot. Yeah. He looks like very one. Hugh Jackman now. Yeah, he does look like Hugh Jackman. Uh, this is Wolverine a Weapons X, the variant. Just got Blair. it for the cover. Um, I, these Mylars have bad glare, so there you go. There you go. There's a better view. He does look like Hugh Jackman. I mean, so. the face is a teeny bit more like teethy. Yeah. But, um, I've, but you can see that they were kind of influenced a little bit. Yeah. But, yeah, I like it. Oh, what do you think about this one? That looks like a teen romance novel. <laughs> but who is it by? Oh. Oh, yeah. This is... <laughs> this is a little teen romance novel-ish. I give the name of it. It's called but this Aspen, is Aspen Splash. <laughs> I'm just waiting for my boyfriend to show up, and he's a server, and we're going to just go hang out. Like, that looks like... I used to read a book. I used to read a series when I was, like, 12, and it was... Summer, uh, summer, what was it called? Summer something. And it was all about these girls. And they were having, it was like Summer Fling. And the next one would be called Summer Flower or something. And that looks like one of those covers. Yep. But this is my guy, Michael Turner. So I anywhere it's I find him. It's even called Swimsuit Spectacular. Uh, yeah, oh, he came out every sakes. year with Swimsuit. Well, you know. Is it like a, 
Is I think it like, it's supposed to be sexy. Like, is it even a story, or is it I, just girls I, in swimsuits? I, to be honest with you, I've not it's even like looked at it. It's like the Sports It is like the Sports comic. Illustrated comics. Yeah, that's a good uh, one. Hmm. She's proportioned very strangely. Well, it's a comic book. What do you think about this one? That's Iron Man? It is Iron Man. This it is, doesn't uh, look like... You know who it looks like? It looks like... What is, um, um, What's the what was it? The Fantastic Four, the guy with the face thing. Doctor Doom. He looks like Doctor Doom, yeah, but like medi- it looks like a medieval Doctor Doom. Yeah, sorta. Of. It doesn't look um, like Iron Man. But this is the first issue for What If Vena Venom Possessed Deadpool. So that's the only reason I got it. Oh, I like it. It's very Game of Thrones meets. Now we both like Iron this Man. one, right? I like that one a lot. <laughs> yeah, we we like this one a lot. So this is a uh, Deadpool Corpse number Forps. Number four, and this is the, uh... Skyler? Yeah. I asked if he was going to get the, this to you, and he's like, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> I, I did not say that. I said, I don't know yet. Um, but this is the cover swipe for Appetite for Destruction, the Guns N' Roses. Uh, awesome, awesome first. Yeah, I walked up and I saw this in his pile, and I was like, that's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, we both like that one. Um, so what do you think about this one? I like that one. Yeah, we like this one, too. We, this is Amazing Spider-Man. You like this one, too. <laughs> uh, 600. You can't see that one very good. The glare's terrible. I thought this was the Dynamic Forces again. <laughs> but the uh, Dynamic Forces is blue. So, um, yeah. But that, I got this one because this is an awesome, awesome cover as well. So... Um, sorry, your little ones got out of bed. So that's our haul, and that's our little commentary, and I appreciate the wife joining in. Oh, sure. Let me know what you guys think. I like this. I like the little banter between us. You may hate it. They may be like, seriously, if you want to talk to your wife, do it off the video. That's right. But please let us know. We'll we'll continue to do this if you guys like it. Um, I'm going to let her pick the top three. Do you like to pick your top three? Yes, I gotta do it quickly. The three year old's yeah, mad. The three year old is, uh, <laughs> is uh, um, a crazy. Um, not that one. Not that one. I like this one. Okay. Um, I'm messing up his pile. Sorry. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Where's the. Oh, you've got them up there yeah. still. I'm all. Oh, I like this one. I like this one, this one, and this one. That's a good top three. I think I would not have picked the Iron Man one. I would have probably picked the Spider Man one. This one. Oh, yeah, I was debating. Yeah, but. If I could have had a fourth, that would have been it. I got the top two. I got two of the three that you got. So, yeah. I really liked it. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, sorry it's a long one. If you stuck in there, thank you very much. You deserve a beer. You deserve Don't a beer. Don't have a beer. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's it. Hope you guys are doing well. Happy hunting out there. And peace out. Peace out. Nice. <laughs> Talk to you guys later. Bye.